Whether it's testing teens or troublesome toddlers, most mums seem to go through a difficult phase with their offspring. But one mother currently enjoying the quiet life is Daisy, a rock hyrax from Africa and the Middle East. A hyrax is a kind of fluffy looking rock. It doesn't do much. In fact, they may even be the least active species we have in the zoo. But that is natural behavior for them. They are rock hyrax. It's a fluffy rock <laughs> with a smile. Our rock hyrax group are made up of Dad, Nungu, Mum, Daisy, and the three-year-old daughters, which are classed as teenagers now. Daisy is the silent type. Nungu is the silent type. <laughs> Daisy and Nungu were kind of like an older couple living at home, and they've got three children that kind of don't really need much looking after. They just spend all day in the bedroom watching TV or playing video games. So the rock hyrax appear to be a lazy species, but there are reasons for that. They live in a, a rocky environment, hiding in crevices, and this behaviour allows them to avoid predation from species such as eagles. Often you will actually see Nungu will be up on a high rock, I guess similar to meerkat behaviour, where he sat up there looking around, seeing what's coming in that could potentially threaten his family. When they're not worrying about eagles, Daisy and Nungu enjoy a peaceful existence. Hi, Hyrax. Just coming to give you some food, OK? They don't interact with the keepers. They don't interact with the public, as far as I'm aware. Ah, yeah. Must be on the other side, by the looks of it. <laughs> Looks like they're hiding under their rocks. Tends to be what we get with the Hyrax. I'll just peer around the back here, because this is sometimes where they kind of, kind of hide at the back here. They would wedge themselves into rocks with their face pointing out. It's a protection thing. Oh, actually, they're in this corner. Hello, sweetie. But their peace is about to be shattered. Things are about to change in the, the Rock Hyrax group. Mum Daisy's getting bigger day by day, so we are suspecting the patter of tiny Hyrax feet any day soon. So we're at five at the moment. Um, I think we're going to be significantly increased um, with these ones. Are we going to have any babies soon? Baby Hyrax, that would be very cute. A load of tiny rock Hyrax bounding around the enclosure. You know, that would change things quite considerably. It's 3 p.m. While many of the zoo's mums enjoy a siesta, Rock Hyrax Daisy's dozing days are over. Good news, Daisy's given birth overnight. We have three Hyrax pups. They are incredibly sweet looking and already quite capable. A lot of babies, when they're born, will be quite dependent on their mum. Hyrax, from just a couple of hours old, are already bouncing around, climbing up the walls like Spider-Man. The reason why these Hyrax are born almost independent is due to the, the environment that they live in. You know, there's quite a lot of dangers about And they need to be mobile almost immediately to avoid these dangers. They're kind of figuring out what is life, where am I, what can I do? They will be testing out the boundaries, jumping off of rocks that are higher than what they probably should do. The young Horax at the moment just don't know when to stop pestering mum and dad. Daisy is going to extreme lengths to get away from her kids. 
they try their hardest to find areas in the enclosure that they can get a bit of a respite. But the youngsters are so mobile that it just doesn't happen. Daisy and Nunga are in for a few months of this relentless attention. But hopefully once they start weaning themselves off mum, things should calm down a little bit. She's probably thinking, I wish I could just uh, sit on this rock for eight hours like I did before these guys were born, but no. No, not anymore. <laughs> The Rock Hyrex pups are now six weeks old. After giving their mum Daisy the runaround, Patrick, Lionel and Norman have finally begun to settle down. I think the Hyrex family is actually really quite a close-knit family. And they do enjoy spending time with each other. They do sort of bundle up together, actually. In fact, they almost bounce off each other's heads half the time. We're starting to see, as the youngsters are developing, the behaviours we're seeing of, of adult rock hyrax, which is basically doing nothing. They're learning well off their uh, parents and their older siblings how to be huge couch potatoes. Would you like to be a hyrax? Um... Depends, really. I guess in some instances, if they got the, they got a nice, easy life, chilling out on rocks, taking everything as it comes, you know, lazing around on sunny days. But then I wouldn't be, you know, I wouldn't like to be hunted by an eagle. <laughs> Rock hyraxes tend to give birth every year, so Daisy could be pregnant again in a matter of weeks. Nungu and Daisy are getting a little bit more peace from the young males but in a few months' time, this will all start again for them and they go through the same process again. So uh, hopefully they get their rest and peace now. <laughs>